Anne comes in today. She's been a longtime patient of mine. She's concerned about expressive lines as well as um, static lines. Um, she feels that it makes her look angry um, or tired. So we've injected Botox in the gabella as well as the bunny lines around her nose. Um, she's been doing this some, quite some time and she's very happy with this procedure. Botox is a nerve blocker which um, works on the motion nerves. It doesn't work on the sensory nerves. So you always will have sensory or the feeling of touch, but you will have limitations on the movement of those areas and those muscles that we are pinpointing wants. Some of them would like a total frozen look. So that's what I give them is a total frozen look because they don't want any wrinkles whatsoever. Some patients still want to have some movement and look natural. So it's based on the individual patient's needs or wants. Um, yes, you could have a Jupiter eyelid. Um, that is um, part of the complications that you can have with Botox, and that has to do with placement. Um, can it happen? Yes, um, but it's very unlikely, and it can be easily corrected. What's, what, what is one good thing about Botox is it wears off in three to four months. So if it's something that you don't like, it will go away in three to four months work on static wrinkles, meaning wrinkles that are there without expression. It only works on wrinkles with expression. So if you have wrinkles with expression, that's what Botox works on. Now the more wrinkles you have, the stronger the muscle, the more bo Botox you need. So again, Botox, usually every area is roughly 20 units. Now obviously a man's face is much more, the muscles are stronger than a woman, so you would need more Botox for them. So so it all depends on your muscle movement. So it's very important when a patient comes in, you have them make the expression, raise their eyebrows, frown or smile so you could see all the expression areas and also let them look into a mirror so they could tell you what areas concern them. The only thing after Botox, there are some post-op instructions to do because Botox is free floating. Um, you're to limit yourself of bending over excessively, meaning don't go home and scrub the floors. And then in other words, you can't lay flat either or manipulate the area. After four hours, you could do anything you want to do.